Starting off our list number 10 is Heath Ledger. In 2008, the world suddenly had to mourn the loss of the talented young actor who passed away tragically at the age of 28. News articles broke saying that he was found by his masseuse and housekeeper on the floor of his rented apartment in Soho, New York. It was said that emergency crews arrived not long after his body was first found and they tried to revive him but were unsuccessful. The media started speculating on the cause of his passing with claims that it may have been an overdose. It wasn't until two weeks later that the New York City Medical Examiner's Office released the results of toxicology tests that were performed on his body. The report stated that he passed of an accidental abuse of prescription medications. His family ended up taking his body back to their native Australia and he was buried next to his grandparents in his hometown, Perth. Taking over the number 9 spot is Mac Miller. It was back in 2018 when the world first heard the horrible news that the rapper had passed away at 26 years old. His passing was ruled as an accidental substance overdose but there was still a lot of speculation surrounding the situation. A toxicology report released a statement that said he passed due to an accidental overdose of two different substances and alcohol. In 2019, three men were charged in connection to his passing. One man for allegedly selling counterfeit Oxycontin pills that were laced with a stronger substance. Another man for allegedly sourcing the pills that were sold to him. And the details of the third man's relation to the case has not been revealed. It wasn't until later this year that a trial date was officially set for November 16th, 2021. The defendants are fighting that they allegedly continued to sell the narcotics after his passing with full knowledge of the risk of their products. Coming into number eight is Brittany Murphy. She had a huge breakthrough in her career with her role in Clueless and then continued to win over the hearts in other movies like Uptown Girls, 8 Mile, and Girl Interrupted. Fans were both shocked and saddened to hear the news back in 2009 that the bubbly actress was found deceased in her Los Angeles home. It was at 8 a.m. on December 20th, 20th, 2009, that the LA Fire Department responded to a medical request after it was reported that she apparently collapsed in her bathroom. Reports say that firefighters tried to resuscitate her on the scene and that she had to be transported to the hospital when they were unable to do so. Once she was at the hospital, she officially passed away at 10.04 AM after going into cardiac arrest at just 32 years old. A few months later, rumors began to spread saying that she had overdosed after the coroner released a report saying that she had been taking a variety of over the counter and prescription medications. However, all the substances were legal and her passing was ruled to be an accident. Signing into number seven is Cameron Boyce. He first became a child star when playing Luke Ross on the Disney Channel TV series, Jesse. From there, he went on to star in movies like Grown Ups and Descendants. Fans were devastated back in 2019 when his family released a statement online saying that the 20 year old had passed away in his home in Los Angeles due to a seizure, which was the result of an ongoing medical condition. They revealed he had recently been diagnosed with epilepsy and said that he was being treated for it. The tragic news came on July 19th and his Descendants movie was set to premiere on July 22nd. Disney decided to cancel the red carpet premiere event and honor him in a different way. With permission from his family, Disney Channel announced that they will dedicate the telecast of Descendants 3 in his memory. They also made a donation in his name to The Thirst Project, which is a nonprofit that Cameron was heavily involved in that provides communities with safe drinking water. Up next, number six, we have Selena. Just a few months ago, Netflix released the second part of the biographical series explaining her life and her tragic passing. The series is called Selena the Series and focuses on her legacy, music, and controversy surrounding her life being taken. She was just 23 years old when it was revealed that she had been fatally struck by a bullet in a motel room in Texas back in 1995. There was a big scandal at the time, which led to a woman named Yolanda Saldivar pulling the trigger on Selena. Yolanda was the president of Selena's fan club and manager of her Selena's Inc. boutiques in Texas and was caught embezzling money from Selena's empire. Reports say Yolanda lured Selena to the motel by promising to finally turn over relevant financial documents. But things got heated and an argument broke out and when Selena saw that she had a weapon in her purse, she tried to flee from the room. It was then that Yolanda pulled the trigger and struck her in the back. The Netflix series apparently reveals footage from this night. Halfway through our list, at number five is Corey Monteith. The young actor was at the height of his career, taking on the lead role in the successful TV series Glee. He was also known for being Leah Michelle's boyfriend, who met each other on the set of Glee in 2008, and became love interest on the show and in real life. They were actually together when he sadly passed away on July 13th, 2013, at just 31 years old. Reports released details saying he was found in his room at the Fairmont Hotel in Vancouver. He was scheduled to check out that 
day, but when he didn't, hotel staff entered his room and discovered his body. His autopsy was later released and it stated that he passed away from a mix of illegal substances and alcohol, but that it appeared to be accidental. After his passing, the production team postponed Glee's fifth season and continued it just months later. On October 10th, 2013, the show aired an episode as a tribute to Corey, which focused on the passing of his character in the show. That way they could continue to talk about his memory in future episodes and seasons. At number four, we have River Phoenix, the older brother of the successful actor Joaquin Phoenix. River's acting career started when he was just 10 years old when he began working in television commercials. His acting career included 24 films and television appearances, which led to the teen idol status and he rose to fame. He wasn't just into acting though, he was also known for his singing and guitar skills. In 1988, he got nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actor in Supporting Role for his role in Running on Empty. The following year, he got a role as young Indiana Jones in Steven Spielberg's Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. His career was at its peak as he continued to book one role after another. Unfortunately, in October 1993, a river collapsed outside of an LA nightclub in front of his brothers, Rain and Joaquin. They rushed him to the hospital where doctors announced that he'd officially passed away at just 23 years old. The New York Times shared the report that the coroner found a fatal amount of illegal substances in his system. In the third spot is Aaliyah. She was known for being a triple threat, being successful at singing, acting, and modeling. People were shocked to hear the news that she had passed away in a tragic airplane accident on August 25th, 2001. She was just 22 years old at the time and had been in the Bahamas filming a music video for the single Rock the Boat. She was on the plane with seven other passengers and the pilot, all of whom passed away in this accident. They all boarded a small plane that was set to return back to Florida, but the aircraft was said to be smaller than the original aircraft that was meant to fly them. Reports say one pilot was warning them there was too much weight for a safe flight since they brought a bunch of filming equipment with them as well. It was later revealed it was actually 700 pounds overweight and the pilot was actually not qualified to fly that aircraft. The aircraft took off and only 200 meters away from the runway after just a few seconds, it crashed. Her autopsy later revealed that she passed away from severe burns and a fatal blow to the head. Next up at number two is Avicii. The DJ was an award-winning musician at the height of his career when he passed away at the age of 28 years old. The horrific news was announced on April 20th, 2018 and revealed that he had taken his own life. The official cause was reported to be blood loss from self-inflicted wounds. Although he had reached insane amounts of fame, success, and wealth, behind the scenes, he was struggling with anxiety, depression, and an alcohol addiction. After the news broke, his family confirmed the news that he had in fact taken his own life and shared that he was battling his addiction for years, which is why he quit touring in 2016. In the documentary Avicii True Stories, it showed that his addiction had put him in the hospital while he was in Australia on tour. In the documentary, Avicii spoke about it and said he was given medication for pancreatitis and started taking 20 pills a day and got addicted to them. Reports say that he was actually working on new music at the time of his passing. Last but not least, at number one, we have Amy Winehouse. It was in July of 2011 that the news broke that the singer had passed away at 27 years old. She was known for her unique voice and the soul and jazz in her music, which stood out against the usual pop music that we hear all the time. She had been very candid about her struggle with substance abuse and alcohol addiction, releasing the hit song Rehab in 2006, which has lived on as one of the most iconic songs to this day. But her addiction is what eventually led to her passing. It was said that at the time she was sober from substances, but that she turned to alcohol more instead because of it. Her body was found in the afternoon that day in her London home. Reports say that she was found by paramedics, fully clothed with a laptop on her bed and empty bottles of vodka on the floor. The coroner revealed that she had a fatal amount of alcohol in her blood, that it shut down her respiratory system and her passing was deemed to be alcohol poisoning. Dr. Shirley Radcliffe said that she voluntarily consumed the alcohol, which was a deliberate act that just took an unexpected turn. Also guys, she has a documentary out on Crave, I believe. Um, I just watched it last weekend and it is incredible. You should watch it. Starting us off at number 10, Paul Walker. Known for his role in the Fast and Furious franchise, Paul Walker sadly passed away in November of 2013 after being involved in a car crash at the age of 40. He was a father, outdoorsman, adrenaline junkie, and an amazing actor. His death came to an abrupt end at his charity fundraiser where he was raising money for relief efforts for the victims of the devastating Philippines typhoon. Those who witnessed the crash report Paul getting into the car with his friend behind the wheel as they took off in the red Porsche. They crashed just a few blocks away from the venue and the car burst into flames. 
At number 9, Michael Jackson. Where were you when you heard the news? The world stood still for a moment when news broke of Michael Jackson's passing on June 25th, 2009. Michael was only 50 when he died of cardiac arrest. The King of Pop had just been rehearsing for his upcoming tour when the tragedy struck. His personal physician had administered lethal doses of propofol and benzodiazepine, which led him to fall unconscious and into cardiac arrest. Michael Jackson was pronounced dead hours after being found in his bedroom. His physician Conrad Murray was convicted of involuntary manslaughter and was sentenced to 4 years in prison. Many of Michael's fans continue to support him to this day and he is greatly missed. Coming in at number 8, Heath Ledger. Critically acclaimed actor Heath Ledger passed away January 22, 2008 in his apartment in Soho, New York. Ledger died following an accidental overdose on prescription drugs at the age of just 28 years old. His death came shortly after filming Wrapped on the Dark Knight film, in which Heath played the Joker. In interviews after wrapping up his Joker character, he revealed that the role was quite hard for him and that he was prescribed drugs to deal with the pain and insomnia. Following his death, he was heavily scrutinized as many people believed that he was abusing illegal substances. Heath was given a memorial service in New York and LA and then was buried in Perth next to his grandparents. Coming in at number 7, Tupac Shakur. Tupac was a powerhouse in the rap community in the 90s. His career flourished until his death in September 1996 after being shot by six assailants. Tupac spent six days in the hospital following the shooting where he later died from his injuries. To this day, the people who shot Tupac have never been identified or arrested and his case remains cold. Although there have been many theories as to what happened, nothing's been proven and justice remains to be served. His most popular album, All Eyes On Me, continues to be enjoyed by fans and a biographical film has also been made retelling his life, also by the same name. In at number 6, Chi Chi Devane. RuPaul's Drag Race alum Chi Chi Devane passed away in August of this year after ongoing health problems. Chi Chi, whose real name is Xavion Davenport, had been battling a lung infection since July. Her illness turned into pneumonia and she was later readmitted to hospital in August where she later died at the age of 34. Chi Chi's death has greatly impacted the drag community and many have taken to the internet to show support for Chi Chi's loved ones as well as to show their fond memories of the drag queen. Chi Chi's legacy has inspired so many and she will be greatly missed. Halfway through at number 5, Mac Miller. Rapper Mac Miller passed away September 7, 2018 from a drug overdose. Mac was found in his home in LA after a suspected drug overdose at the age of 26. Mac had always been vocal about his drug problems in the past and also struggled with his mental health. His death came not too long after his breakup with singer Ariana Grande. Upon Mac's death, an autopsy revealed that fentanyl, cocaine, and alcohol were found in his system. Because fentanyl is known to be a very fatal drug, an investigation was launched in order to find out how Mac was given such a lethal drug. It was found that the drugs Mac had received shortly before his death were laced with the fatal substance, and this led to his passing. The individuals who were responsible for selling the drugs were apprehended by police and were later charged and arrested. Coming in at number 4, Cameron Boyce. Disney Channel star Cameron Boyce passed away July 6, 2019, at the age of just 20 years old. Cameron, who had been dealing with a chronic medical condition, suffered a seizure in his sleep, which ended up being fatal. But when paramedics found Boyce, he was unresponsive and they were unable to resuscitate the actor. His death came just before the premiere of the movie Descendants 3 and during filming of his new HBO series, Fletcher. His death prompted an outpouring of love and support for his family as they remembered how he brought them joy in so many memorable moments on and off screen. Cameron's passing came too soon as he showed so much potential and talent and he could have seen so much success. At number 3, Naya Rivera. Former Glee star Naya Rivera passed away in July of this year at the age of 33. Naya's death was the result of an accidental drowning. Naya and her son were enjoying a day out on a boat when they decided to go swimming. The area in which they were has reportedly difficult swimming conditions and so when Naya was trying to save her son and get him back onto their boat, she ran out of energy and couldn't keep herself afloat. She mustered up enough energy to get her son back to safety but she didn't have enough to save herself and she drowned in the lake. Shortly after the incident took place, reports came of a child by himself on a boat and when authorities arrived on the scene, they began the search for Naya. The rescue mission took days and a lot of equipment but her body was later found on July 13th. Naya's passing came on the exact day of fellow Glee star Cory Monteith's passing just 7 years later. Fans showed an outpouring of support for the Glee star and hailed her a hero for being able to save her son. In at number 2, Kobe Bryant. Basketball legend Kobe Bryant was killed in a helicopter crash on January 26th of this year at the age of 41. Kobe and his daughter Gianna and 7 others including Gianna's teammates and the pilot were all killed from blunt force trauma from the crash. The helicopter was flying in poor weather conditions as thick fog and clouds were reported that day. 
Witnesses say that they heard the chopper overhead followed by a loud noise and then silence. Then the hill in which they crashed engulfed in flames. When authorities made their way to the crash site, there were no survivors. Kobe left behind a family and friends in mourning. At his memorial service, the world watched as Kobe's closest friends and family grieved the loss of such an icon. Known for his basketball career and also his service to his community, the world lost one of the greats far too soon. Finally at number 1, Chadwick Boseman. On August 28th, the world lost actor Chadwick Boseman to cancer at the age of 43. Chadwick, who was known for his many amazing on-screen roles like Black Panther in the Marvel movies, Jackie Robinson, and James Brown, brought so many iconic black icons to character on the big screen. He was known as a hero to so many, not only for providing an incredible role model for young black kids to look up to, but also because of his resilience following his battle with cancer. Chadwick had been fighting through a 4 year long battle with colon cancer at the time of his death. Through his diagnosis and treatment stemming back to 2016, he brought us so many performances and no one knew about what he was going through behind the scenes. Although people ridiculed his appearance and dramatic weight loss towards the end, Bozeman kept his chin up and fought as hard as he could. I know what it's like to watch someone battle this kind of cancer, so to find out that he was doing all of that while continuing to give 100% in his performances makes him a hero to me. Regis Philman. The longtime television and game show host Regis Philman sadly passed away from heart disease at the age of 88 on July 24th. He's most widely known as the co host of the New York City based nationally syndicated talk show called Live with Regis and Kathy Lee, starting in 1988, which became Live with Regis and Kelly in 2001. However, I will always remember him as the host of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. His family also shared an exclusive statement with People Magazine and said, His family and friends are forever grateful for the time that we got to spend with him, for his warmth, his legendary sense of humor, and his singular ability to make every day into something worth talking about. We thank his fans and admirers for their incredible support over his 60 year career and ask for privacy as we mourn his loss. Hey guys, I'm Mackenzie and now on to the next one. So next up we have Conchata Farrell. So Conchata Farrell, best known for her role as Bertha the housekeeper on Two and a Half Men, passed away at the age of 77 on October 12th of 2020. She peacefully passed in a Sherman Oaks hospital after she had complications following a cardiac arrest. She was surrounded by loved ones. Two and a Half Men creator and executive producer Chuck Lore spoke of her highly, saying in a statement, quote, we called her chatty and we all loved her. 12 years of highs and lows and lots and lots of laughter. Through it all, she was a rock, one of the greats. I was privileged to call her a friend. Hey guys, I'm your other host, Spree Room, and I'll be bringing you some more of the unfortunate passings that happened in Hollywood this year. Alex Trebek. After a long and difficult battle with pancreatic cancer, Jeopardy host Alex Trebek passed away on November 8th at the age of 80. Alex worked on the game show Jeopardy for the last 35 years and it feels as though we grew up with him. I'm sure I can speak for many people when I say that Alex was one consistency in all of our lives. Hearing his voice on the TV in the background or watching the show is something that I'm sure many of us remember experiencing. He was a ray of positivity all the way to the end. Alex first shared his cancer diagnosis in March 2019 and though he continued his battle with with cancer, he also continued being the face of the game show, hosting each round and also keeping his loyal fans updated on his health. It felt as though we were all fighting together. Though he was optimistic, he lost his battle this year. The Canadian legend created a worldwide family through television and he will be missed by all. Thank you, Alex. Next up, we have Naya Rivera. Naya was a triple threat. She was an actress, a singer, and a model who was very successful at all three of her talents. She got her breakthrough role back in 2009 when she was cast in the TV series Glee, where she played her character until 2015. Outside of acting, she was also signed to Columbia Records as a solo artist and also published a memoir titled Sorry Not Sorry, Dreams, Mistakes, and Growing Up. She was always working on new projects in all avenues of her career career, which is only one of the reasons why she was so successful. Sadly, Naya passed away earlier this year in July while swimming with her four-year-old son. Reports say they got caught in a current and she found the energy to get her son back on the boat but was unable to save herself. Fans say this just shows the type of mother she was and that she left the world not as a cheerleader like her Glee character but as a hero. Next up, Kirk Douglas. In the golden age of Hollywood, Kirk Douglas was one of their biggest and brightest stars. With more than 92 acting credits including some 75 movies, seven of which co-starred his friend Burt Lancaster, Douglas became a superstar even before the term was coined. His very first Academy Award nomination came in 1950 for his role in the film Champion. In 1991, he was awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award from the American Film Institute and became a Kennedy Center honoree in 1994. Fast forward to 1996 and Kirk was being awarded an honorary Oscar for 50 years as a creative and moral force in the film community. He had an incredible career as an actor and lived to be 103. Surprisingly enough, he had been in good health until suffering from a stroke in 1996, which ultimately began to deplete his health until he passed from old age on February 5th, 2020. Next up, we have Chadwick Boseman. 
Chadwick Boseman, best known for his role in Black Panther, playing T'Challa, passed away on August 28th at the age of 43, and his passing was a shock to many, as we learned after the fact that he had been silently battling colon cancer for years before his passing. Also, we learned what a selfless and kind person that he was, with Sienna Miller revealing that Bozeman actually topped up her salary with his own money on the film 21 Bridges to ensure that she was paid fairly. And since he was such a huge part of the Black Panther films, fans have been wondering what will happen next in the series. And Marvel has stated that they will not recast out of respect, but they still plan to go ahead with the sequel. Bozeman also posthumously received the Hero for the Ages Award at the MTV Movie and TV Awards, where he was honored by Robert Downey Jr. and Don Cheadle. Sean Connery Sir Sean Connery was back best known for playing the suave and sultry James Bond. He was the first to bring the iconic character to life and starred in seven Bond films. His successful career spanned 70 years and even won him an Oscar in 1988 for his role in The Untouchables. He passed away peacefully in his sleep on October 31st while in the Bahamas. The Scottish actor was surrounded by his family at the time of his passing and though he is no longer with us, we will never forget his talent. His talent defined an era and style and the charm he portrayed on screen is something that defined who he was as a performer. Sean captivated audience and inspired other generations of actors as well. He was not just 007, but a mentor in a way for so many, and he will be so missed. Moving on, we have Diana Rigg. She took on some of the most legendary roles on the screen. Some of her most notable ones being Emma Peel in the TV series The Avengers, the wife of James Bond, and Elena Tyrell in Game of Thrones. She had a successful career on the screen, but also on the stage as she propelled in the life of theater, making her Broadway debut back in 1971. Her life was filled with countless amounts of theater productions, television series, and films. But her career came to an end just a few months ago on September 10th, 2020, when it was announced that she had passed away at the age of 82. Her daughter had reported that the cause of death was lung cancer and explained she had been diagnosed back in March. Coming up next, Granty Mahara. Grant was not only an electrical engineer and roboticist, he also hosted the popular science show called Mythbusters. While he was a member of the Mythbusters team, Grant went skydiving, drove stunt cars, and came into contact with some of the most iconic characters in cinema history. For nine years, he worked at Lucas Films and helped with the company's THX and Industrial Light and Magic Divisions. During that time, he became the chief model maker with a specialization in animatronics. Some of his most notable work was on the Star Wars prequels, as well as The Matrix Reloaded, Galaxy Quest, Van Helsing, and Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. According to reports, Grant had apparently suffered from a brain aneurysm that ultimately led to his passing at the age of 49. Next up, Corey LeBerry. Corey LeBerry was a popular YouTuber with close to 400,000 subscribers on his main channel, as well as 200,000 subscribers on his joint channel with Crawford Collins. This one hit especially hard for me because I actually watched Corey and his entire friend group on YouTube, but Corey sadly passed away on May 10th, 2020, his 25th birthday, when he was a passenger in a car crash. The car was being driven by Ink Masters Daniel Silva, and authorities later confirmed that Silva was drinking and driving, along with speeding and this caused him to lose control and crash the car. LaBerry died of his injuries and Silva has since been sentenced to a year in jail and five years probation after pleading no contest to one count of gross vehicular manslaughter. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant's death was one of the first to hit us hard this year. The basketball legend passed away on January 26 after being involved in a helicopter crash. The crash happened after Kobe, his daughter Gianna, her teammates, parents, and coach were returning from a basketball tournament when they encountered thick fog and harsh flying conditions. Kobe's death was sudden and tragic and he left behind his wife and young family. His funeral was broadcast live and many of his fans tuned in to say their final goodbye to the NBA legend. The famed Lakers player was known for his talent on court, but also for his generosity as he gave back to his community and supported organizations that encouraged reading initiatives, building houses, donating food, and was a spokesperson for an organization that provided after school programs for kids. Kobe did a lot for this world, so now it's his time to rest as we keep his memory and Mamba legacy alive. Next up, we have Ethan Peters. The beauty community quickly fell in love with his makeup skills and personality. He was gaining a large following across multiple platforms for his education makeup art and his unique style. People loved seeing him vlog about his life and many people supported his clothing line called Hellboy. It seemed like he was going to take over the online beauty world since his career was on the rise, but then the sad news was announced that he had passed away at a very young age of 17. 
His cause of death remained a speculation and details were not released other than the fact that he passed away in his home on September 5th, 2020. Some of his friends came forward and revealed that he had been struggling with a drug addiction behind the scenes, so the cause of death is likely to be related to his addiction. However, it was never confirmed. Coming up next, Irfan Khan. This one was quite devastating to say the least because of how young he was at the time. Irfan was only 53 years old when he passed from a colon infection. In 2018, the actor revealed that he had been diagnosed with a neuroendocrine tumor, which affects cells that release hormones into the bloodstream. He was not only one of India's most talented actors, he also had a massive career for himself in America as well. Wes Anderson adored his talent so much that he specifically wrote him a part in a movie just to work with the actor. Although to many, he was the biggest talent in Bollywood and was known for his nuance and understated performances. In 2013, he won India's National Film Award for his leading role in Pan Sang Tomar, a biopic about a top athlete who becomes a bandit. Some of his other Bollywood hits included Lunchbox and Hindi Medium. Next up, Eddie Van Halen. The rock icon sadly passed away on October 6th of 2020 at the age of 65. His passing happened after a long fought battle with multiple forms of cancer, but mostly lung cancer. Although his death certificate obtained by TMZ showed a stroke was his actual cause of death at the time. In a recent interview, his son Wolfgang revealed that his dad had been told he had six weeks to live in 2017 when he was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. After receiving the diagnosis, Van Halen went to Germany for treatment and the doctors in Germany were able to give him three more years. Ruth Bader Ginsburg U.S. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away on September 18th at the age of 87 after a battle with metastatic pancreatic cancer. Other than being one of the oldest Supreme Court justices and the second woman to ever sit in the Supreme Court, she was also a feminist and did a lot for women's rights. RBG is a reason women in the U.S. don't need a male co-signer at the bank and can be accepted into state-funded schools. She made efforts to secure equal pay for women and was a crucial vote in keeping Roe v. Wade. She fought to protect pregnant women in the workplace and argued that women should serve on juries. RBG was a force in securing basic rights for women and she's done so much to preserve her work. Other than fighting for women, she also fought for the LGBT community and was a crucial vote in granting gay marriage. She did a lot for so many people and she will be missed. In our next spot is Chi Chi Devine. She became a household name in the world of drag queens after appearing on the reality TV series RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars. She was on the eighth season and quickly gained international attention for her talent and personality. Following her time on the show, her career skyrocketed into success and she appeared on several drag series. Despite her success, she was battling an illness throughout her career after being diagnosed with an autoimmune disease back in 2018. After battling it out for two years with a smile on her face, she caught pneumonia in 2020 and her body just could not fight it off. She was rushed to the hospital on July 17th with kidney failure, but underwent some treatment and was actually able to go home. Sadly, four weeks later, she was readmitted after getting pneumonia and passed away from kidney failure at the age of 34. Coming up next, Rocky Johnson. Not only was he the father of Dwayne The Rock Johnson, but Rocky had built a successful career in the world of wrestling entertainment in his own right. The 75 year old Canadian professional wrestler had shattered racial barriers in his career and knocked down plenty of legendary opponents along the way. On his way to becoming the first black champion in places like Georgia and Texas, he often had to work with wrestlers who were racist. Even when promoters wanted him to adjust his character to be more black, Rocky refused and said that regardless of his gimmick, his athleticism came first. Johnson was even inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2008 for his legendary career. Towards the end of his life, Rocky had been battling with a bad cold as well as a blood clot in his leg. Although on January 15, 2020, that blood clot had broken free, traveled up his body and went right into his lung. Due to this happening, he passed very quickly from a massive heart attack. Next up, Kelly Preston. Kelly Preston sadly passed away on July 12th at the age of 57 after a two year battle with breast cancer. Following the news, Kelly's husband, John Travolta, posted a heartfelt message on Instagram, writing, quote, It's with a very heavy heart that I inform you that my beautiful wife, Kelly, has lost her two year battle with breast cancer. Adding, she fought a courageous fight with the love and support of so many. With him also thanking the doctors that helped treat her for years. Nick Cordero. Nick Cordero was an actor who found a lot of success on and off stage. On TV, he played characters in productions like Blue Bloods and Law and & Order, and on Broadway, he appeared in shows like Rock of Ages and Waitress. Sadly, Nick passed away this year at the age of 41 after a long and difficult battle with COVID-19. Nick's wife, Amanda Kludes, shared his COVID journey with their followers and kept them updated on his health until 
the end. There were a lot of complications and he lost his battle, but Amanda now uses her husband's tragic story to advocate for COVID safety and to warn others about the consequences that this virus can bring. Nick leaves behind his wife Amanda and their young son Elvis. Nick brought smiles and entertainment to so many people and he will be in our thoughts. Coming up next is Alex Pollan. The Olympian snowboarder competed in the Winter Olympics in 2010, 2014, and 2018 and was a two-time snowboard cross world champion. He started snowboarding at a young age and knew that snowboard cross was something he wanted to compete in. He ended up announcing his retirement in 2020, but sadly it was the same year his life would come to an end as well. On July 8th, he passed away at the age of 32. When fans heard the news, most people assumed it may have been sport injury related, but it was actually a spear fishing accident. He had been spear fishing by himself at an artificial reef on Palm Beach and drowned unexpectedly. He often spent time in the water, so it was shocking to hear that another diver found him unconscious and without an oxygen mask on. Paramedics tried to resuscitate him for 45 minutes, but he did not recover. He was pronounced dead on the scene at just 32 years old. At number 10, Sebastian Athey. No matter where you are in the world, Disney makes an impact. Latin American Disney Channel actor Sebastian Athey was a star in a completely different part of the world than my own, and yet we all feel the sadness that came after his sudden passing last summer. Known for his role as soccer player Lorenza Guerra, on the Argentinian Disney show once, Sebastian was well-loved and a talented guy. Other than being a famed actor, he was also into the music scene. He was a singer releasing music as recently as 2019. He released his most recent song, Freaking Out, in July of 2019, and before that, he released a song through Disney Channel called Play With The Heart. But before he got his big break on the Disney Channel, he got his start on a popular telenovela called La Rosa de Guadalupe, having appeared on two episodes between 2014 and 2015 as two different characters. He lived a good life, finding a lot of success until his tragic passing on July 4th, 2020, after suffering from a heart attack at the age of 24. He will be dearly missed. At number 9, Don Rickles. Toy Story fans were devastated to hear of the passing of Don Rickles back in 2017. Don had a long and successful career as a comedian, but I think what most people remember him for is his role as the voice of Mr. Potato Head in Toy Story films. He had voiced the character since the very beginning and was part of three Toy Story films before his passing at the age of 90. Don was set to take up his famous role in the newest installment of the Toy Story series, but sadly he passed away before the script was finished. When the studio was ready, Ready to begin production on Toy Story 4, they actually asked Don's family if they would be willing to give them permission to use old recordings of Don's voice to bring Mr. Potato Head to life one last time, to which they agreed saying, quote, he always said, keep my name alive, let them know who I am, so he would be thrilled by all of this, definitely, end quote. Toy Story 4 came out with Don's voice playing his beloved character and helping to keep his legacy alive. I don't know about you guys, but there's no one else that I could see playing this part, so I'm glad they were able to do this. Thanks for being part of our childhoods, Don. Now before I carry on with the video, please consider leaving a like to help out the channel and also check out my channel Viper Girl for some gaming content as well. At number 8, Nikita Pro Waligua. Actress Nikita Pearl Waligua, known for her role as Gloria in the Disney movie Queen of Katwe, sadly passed away in February 2020 at the age of 15. Nikita had been on a long journey battling a brain tumor from 2016 and again in 2019 after another tumor was discovered. Queen of Katwe's director Mira Nar actually helped to organize funds for Nikita's treatment during filming, showing how much the cast and crew cared for her. She played a role in a powerful film with powerful women and she will always be remembered for that. She fought bravely through it all, and that will be something people remember. At number 7, Stan Lee. Stan Lee was a comic book writer, editor, actor, and producer known for his creation and involvement in many iconic Marvel characters. He was always a storyteller as he enjoyed writing since he was a kid. He credited the books and movies from his childhood for his great success later in life. In 1939, Lee began working for a comic book publisher which eventually evolved into the coveted Marvel Comics by the 1960s. What made Stan's character so unique was how his comic book heroes had more realistic and flawed qualities in comparison to rival DC Comics. Their success skyrocketed and the Marvel Empire grew into what we know it as today. Other than creating these characters, Lee also starred alongside them for many years as he held cameos in many of the Disney movies. And since Disney owns Marvel, this makes Stan an honorary Disney star. 
For fans of the MCU, Stan's appearance was one Easter egg that we all looked forward to finding. Stan Lee lived an incredibly long and successful life until his death on November 12, 2018 at the age of 95. On number 6, Jason Davis. If you're familiar with the Disney Channel show Recess from the late 90s slash early 2000s, then you would obviously remember the character Mikey Blumberg. He was basically the nicest kid on the playground, a lovable guy with a knack for poetry and a good heart, always being the first to forgive people. Mikey was voiced by actor Jason Davis for the duration of the show's series as well as its spin-off movies. Sadly, Jason passed away February 16th, 2020 at the age of 35 due to effects caused by fentanyl usage. Other than appearing on the Disney Channel, Jason also had roles in Rush Hour, Beverly Hills Ninja, and Mafia. During his life, Jason founded and dedicated himself to an organization called Cure Addiction Now. His organization's goal was to help fund research for those suffering from substance abuse and addiction, and he dedicated the year and a half before his passing to growing this organization. Before his passing, he was also working on a new show called The Two Jasons. He brought many characters to life and dedicated his time towards helping others, achieving so many wonderful things in his life. At number 5, Carrie Fisher. The world was shocked by actress Carrie Fisher's tragic passing. Having been beloved by so many, her passing affected so many people. Carrie passed away on December 27, 2016 at the age of 60 after having suffered a heart attack. Carrie was no doubt known for her role in the Star Wars franchise playing Princess Leia. Since Disney bought Star Wars, this technically made her a Disney princess, which just made her that much cooler. Carrie began her Star Wars career at the age of 19 and it stuck with her for her whole life. When approached about the idea of portraying Leia again in 2015's The Force Awakens, she said, quote, I knew that something enormous was likely going to impact my life in this film and that there was absolutely no way of understanding what that was or likely be. This was her defining role and there was no way that it would let her go. She brought Leia's bad character to life even after her passing as the studio was able to bring her back to life on the big screen one last time in The Rise of Skywalker which was released three years after her death. Though she had her struggles in life which she opened up about, she was still an icon and is still dearly missed. At number 4, Chadwick Boseman. Marvel's Black Panther movie is one of their most successful films. I remember when it was first released and there were so many people going to see it and so many people from the black community saying how they felt empowered and represented by this film. It was a big deal and made Black Panther a fan favorite. Chadwick Boseman, the actor who brought King T'Challa to life, also became an icon, so when the news of his passing broke last year, fans were devastated. Chadwick passed away on August 28, 2020 at the age of 43 after a long and difficult battle with stage 4 colon cancer. Other than being cast in the MCU, Chadwick also played some big roles such as Jackie Robinson in 42, as well as James Brown in Get On Up. His family released a statement announcing his passing, saying how hard he fought until the end. Fans found out that Chadwick was receiving treatment for his condition at the same time that he was filming Black Panther, showing us how strong he really was. Chadwick really was a king on and off screen, and it's hard to imagine the MCU without him. At number 3, Robin Williams. Actor and comedian Robin Williams put a smile on everyone's face. He had the ability to captivate an audience so easily and always left an impression on every single one of his fans. Though he had a long and successful career, he also spent some time working with Disney, portraying a number of characters. He worked on projects like Popeye, Good Morning Vietnam, Good Will Hunting, Back to Neverland, Flubber, and more. His most notable Disney production, however, was Aladdin. Robin voiced the genie, bringing that magical blue goof to life in the most entertaining way. The genie was always meant to be played by Robin as the character was even written with him in mind, and he brought the character to life in both the original Aladdin and the sequel, Aladdin and the King of Thieves. Sadly, Robin passed away on August 11, 2014 after he took his own life. Though it was originally reported that he suffered from depression, his wife later clarified that he was really suffering from a condition called DLB, saying that Robin's depression was one of many symptoms of DLB. Robin played a big part in many of our childhoods as he starred in so many films that we watched as kids, and we thank him for that. At number 2, Lee Thompson Young. Though you may not recognize the name, you will surely recognize his face. If you grew up watching the Disney Channel in the late 90s and 2000s, then you might be familiar with Lee Thompson Young. Lee got his breakout role in the Disney Channel series The Famous Jet Jackson, where he played the famous action TV star Jet Jackson. This role was the first major role he got, and it set him up to have a successful career with Disney. After his time filming Jet Jackson, as well as its spin-off films, Lee then went on to star in the hit Disney Channel movie Johnny Tsunami and the subsequent film Johnny Cabahala Back On Board. 
After leaving Disney, he went on to star in different shows like Smallville, where he played Victor Stone, aka Cyborg, and in Rizzoli and Isles, where he played Detective Barry Frost. His role on Rizzoli and Isles was the last role that Lee had before his passing in 2013, where he took his own life. Lee had reportedly been struggling with his mental health, and so when he passed away, his family set up a foundation in his name called the Lee Thompson Young Foundation with the goal of removing the stigma around mental illness. If you're ever struggling with your mental health, please reach out to someone or call a local crisis hotline. You are not alone. And finally, number one, Cameron Boyce. One of the biggest and most tragic deaths that Disney has faced recently was the passing of actor Cameron Boyce back in 2019. Cameron passed away on July 6, 2019 at the age of 20. His passing came just shortly before the premiere of his film Descendants 3, where he played Carlos, the son of Disney villain Cruella de Vil. Before this film, Cameron had starred in other Disney productions like Jesse and had guest roles on Good Luck Charlie and Shake It Off. Cameron was a Disney fan favorite, but he was so much more than that outside of the world of film and television. He was also a philanthropist. In 2017, Cameron helped raise over $27,000 for the Thirst Project. He aided in an effort to end homelessness. He worked closely with an organization that helped raise awareness and fight against a on college campuses. He worked with an organization to help kids with sickle cell disease and his final humanitarian effort was to partner with an organization to help fight against gun violence. Because helping others was something that Cameron loved, his family set up an organization in his name after his passing to quote, provide young people artistic and creative outlets as alternatives to violence and negativity and provide resources to make a positive change in the world. Cameron did a lot of good in his life and continues to be someone for people to look up to.